Hey YouTube, this is Pump. Today I'll be going over my guide for the Glory of the Vault achievement from Vault of the Incarnates. So let's jump right in, and here are the prerequisites for this achievement. So, the bare minimum is 8 people for the Dathia achievement. Everything else you can do with a lower amount of people if you're doing this as not current content. But if you are doing this as current content, I highly suggest 239 or above, just to make the Dathia achievement easier. Really quickly, I wanted to cover a section on finding a group for these achievements if you don't have one. Uh, your easiest way is going to be getting a guild group together and putting up a looking for group if you need more of something like heals or DPS. If you have no guild group, your next best bet is going to be checking the WoW Achievements Discord and making a post that you're looking for a group to form for the Vault of the Incarnates achievements. Uh, now let's get into the actual guide. Starting out, clear the left side trash and have a tank pick up this portal stone on the map. So right as you pull boss, the ice behemoth will spawn. To get rid of his stacks and make him a burning behemoth to get the achievement, you have to drag him through the fire pools. Uh, it is really simple, but if you don't have a good healing group as this is current content, you might struggle with heals. So beware of that. You might want to just have an extra healer here. So he starts out with 8 stacks, and to get rid of a stack, you just drag him through these fire pools. I'll slow it down again once he starts doing his thawing. So he just thawed, now they turn into little vapors, and you gotta kill these little adds as they spawn. I would just always proud the little adds, and make sure you don't kill Aranog before you turn him into a burning behemoth. So I speed this way up. Just always killing little adds, doing the little army mechanic. Still just keep on dragging him through ice. And then here, he hits zero stacks, and he turns into a burning behemoth. And you, now you can just kill him. And then you kill Ironog, and that's the achievement. On to Council. This one is the easiest one, in my opinion. So all you do is when the boss is spawned, you fish in this spot. And then it pulls up the frog, and then you kill the boss as you do normally. You just have to deal with his frog mechanics. He will leap randomly around the arena. You just have to dodge that. And then he will target somebody and just frontal them, I believe. But the frontal doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, really free. Just dodge the frog mechanics and kill the boss. And you have your achievement. Now we are on to the hardest achievement, which is Dathia's achievement. I highly suggest pausing and reading this and looking at the map so you can kind of pre-figure out what you want to do on this fight. So here's an example of me getting a ball. Uh, I'd line myself up with the blowback from the ad, and I just kind of blink myself into it. And it does not matter if you die when you get one of these. Um, this is the hardest achievement by far. So... I'll show kind of the strat that I talked about in the paused section. So we're waiting for the first pull for when we can get knocked up and get the high ones. So this is the pull. So you try and line yourself up as best you can with the ones high in the sky. So here I purposefully get knocked up. And then I try and slow fall myself into it, but I barely miss. But Classes that can glide can pretty easily get these ones, uh, like Demon Hunters and Evokers. So definitely suggest having a lot of them. So here's our actual kill getting it. We lust on pull and we just burn the boss down to a lowish HP percent. And then we are just waiting for mechanics to get the balls. Um, you can assign someone to try and get a certain ball if that helps your group. But with the more people you have, the easier this will be. Uh, because you have just more tries at getting the balls amongst everybody because each person can only get one ball if you get two balls on one person it will not count like it won't make the ball disappear you get that debuff and then you can't get another one so we just use the add knockback to get the last one on the outside and then we can finally kill boss and that's the achievement uh, again this is the hardest one uh, it takes quite a bit of coordination it took us 45 minutes i believe in our 239 group to kill it but after you kill it that's your achievement
Now we're on to Taros. Taros is pretty easy. You just mark these three dormant earth on the outside of the arena. They're at just some corners. They're a little rock that only is up when the boss is spawned. And then once you have them all marked, when you get the spike mechanic, you just bring it to the three markers. Uh, it does not matter in what order you do it in. You can do it in any order. Just don't cover the section that hasn't been hit yet with Awakened Earth when he like covers the pie slice. So we get pillars on pole, we hit red X, and then we move to moon and green. We hit moon with a pillar, and then we go to green triangle, which is the last one we need to hit. We don't cover it in Awakened Earth, and then we get the last pillar set, we slow this down. This is what spawns the adds to give the achievement. So all the adds are spawned, just let the tanks gather them up. And then we nuke the adds down, and that's the achievement. Then you can just kill the boss. On to center, pause and read this real quick. Uh, we are just trying to break five cocoons out and kill some chickens. So I speed this up until we get our first chicken kill. So we get gripped, and then the tank taunts this little spider, and we pull him to the first cocoon. We kill the spider on top of the cocoon, and then it breaks the little chicken out. And the next grip kills that chicken. After that, you just go up the staircase and break all of the three chickens that are left. Um, one of them is close on that ramp. We don't have it marked in our video, but it's right next to that big pillar. Uh, middle of my screen. You can see the hunter over there right now. We just broke it. Um, I actually go and hit it right there. And that's you should be four out of five at this platform. And then there's just one left at the last platform before you go to the top. And he's just in the middle back. Other than that, you just finish it off, and then the next pull kills all of the chickens, and then you're good to kill boss. Now we're on to Broodkeeper. Uh, pause and read this if you just want the quick guide. Uh, this explanation will be kind of slow for the visual. So on pull, we have the boss at red X here. Uh, the boss is just tanked at four different eggs. You need four different dragons to spawn and kill them all at the same time for the achievement. So we're just waiting for the first eggs to hatch. And we're saving lust. Even though in the video I'm sated because we failed to go, but... Point still stands, you should be saving lust for the dragons. So the first dragon's hatched, the off tank is just keeping them back where we were. The tank on Broodkeeper just pulls it to the next two eggs. We're waiting for staff for them to hatch. Should be hatching any second. And then we all get ready, all the DPS get ready to move back to the adds and kill them all at the same time. Now we have four different dragons all together. We lust if you <laughs> have a good group, and then you burn it all down. As long as you're within 10 seconds of killing them all, you're fine. Uh, they do give you a pretty big grace period, and this will only be easier with later content. But yeah, just have to keep the adds separate as you can. So a little bit of tank prog, but after that, you just... Get the achievement. On to the last one, Razageth. Uh, pause and read if you want the quick guide. Um, this one isn't actually that hard either, but you do have to do some mechanics. So here we're 
I skipped forward until we we're just about to hit 65%. So we just hit 65% and now we're sending our two people to go grab the storm balls on the platforms before he blows us back. So we can see my little evoker. He's going over there and clicking on the storm orb and a demon hunter on the other side, click the storm orb. And IAT does track it. You can see it's spamming the chat right now that we got them both. <laughs> it actually continues to spam, so be aware of that. And then I speed this way up. You are just doing the boss all the way until phase three. There are no achievement mechanics until phase three after you grab those two storm balls. Once you're into phase three, the two people who grabbed your balls <laughs> go to the outside and purposefully get hit by the storm to spawn the ad. After that, you then lust and just burn down this ad. After you kill the ad, then you can just kill the boss and you're done. Uh, the ad does spawn balls and has bullet hell when he's doing ball lightning. So just watch bullet hell during, it happens during a frontal and that's the only mechanic he really does. So just full damage on the ad, kill off the ad, and then you kill off Razageth. And that's the achievement. That is going to conclude my Glory of the Vault achievement guide. Uh, if you liked this guide and thought I did a good job, please subscribe. Uh, this took way more editing than I thought it would when I first started to make this. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.